Hi and welcome to Data Do's How To's. I'm Sonia and today we'll be looking at how to insert data into SQL tables on Azure. To be able to insert data, we first need a database and tables. We've already created the MTA 90361 OBJ6 database and tables in our previous two videos, based on the exercises in the study guide. If you haven't got an Azure account, database or tables yet, follow these steps first. Create an Azure account. Claim your free Azure subscription on azure.microsoft.com. Create the MTA 90361 OBJ6 database in the Creating a SQL Database on Azure video. Create the tables for the database in the How to Create Tables for a SQL Database on Azure video. We will be using the Query Editor on our SQL Database in Azure to insert five rows of valid test data into each of the following tables. Customers, Categories, Products, Orders and Order Details. The Single Row Insert Statement Start your insert with the Insert Keyword. Then the INTO keyword, which is optional. Then specify the table name, followed by an opening bracket. List the names of the columns you want to insert data into, separated by a comma. Finish the column list with a closing bracket. Add the VALUES keyword, followed by an opening bracket. List the values you wish to add in the exact same order as the column list, separated by a comma. Close the value list with a closing bracket. For character and text fields, enclose each value in a single quotation mark. The multiple row insert statement is similar to the single row statement, up to the end of the first row of values in the values list. Each row of values is then listed with a comma separating each row after the closing bracket. For more info on insert statements, visit page 43 to 48 in the Objective 6 study guide, Understanding Databases. I've listed the insert scripts for each table next to the table creation script so you can study the scripts together for better understanding. This slide displays the Customers and Categories table creation and insert scripts. In the Customers insert script, the Customer ID column is not included in the insert list, as it is a primary key column with the identity property specified. A primary key uniquely identifies each row in a table. Identity indicates that a unique auto number will be generated when you insert a new row, in this case starting at the seed which is 1 and incrementing with 1. Category ID is also omitted in the categories insert list as it is also an identity field. All the values we are inserting are going into character fields so they are enclosed in single quotation marks. Although the multi-row products insert script looks complicated, it is only because of the lengthy product descriptions. With products, product code is included in the column and values list. Product codes are not auto-generated, but still uniquely identify each row in the table. The category ID column is a foreign key column, referencing the category ID in the categories table. Each category ID in the list references a valid category ID from the categories table. The product description field is an nvarchar maxed field. The product descriptions are very long. The best way to accommodate such data is by using nvarchar or varchar max types. Why use n before char values? n means Unicode, a consistent encoding standard 
for handling international text. The show product column is of bit type. It is a Boolean true-false type. One represents true and zero represents false. The orders insert script illustrates the following. How to force an identity insert. Sometimes you may want to force the insert of a value into an identity column. In this scenario, you can add the identity column to the column list and the value to the values list, but you have to set the table's identity insert property to on. You can set the value to off when the insert is done. The order insert also illustrates how a string can be cast into a datetime field. This insert will only succeed if the string can be cast to a datetime. If you want to use the current date, you can replace the value with a getDate function, which returns the current database system date and time. Remember to use valid values when inserting values into a foreign key field. In this case, the foreign keys ensure that an order is made by an existing customer. With the order details insert, it ensures each order details row is linked to a valid order and only products existing in the products table can be ordered. Here are some of the guidelines for insert scripts. Insert into followed by the table name, then a column list. The into word is optional. Columns and values must be separated with commas. Order of values in the values list must correspond to the order of the columns. Exclude identity columns. Values will be auto-generated. If you want to force an identity insert, use set identity insert on. Columns with default values specified will insert default values if omitted in the column and value list. Not null columns. It is compulsory to list and specify values for not null columns. Use single quotation marks for any character text values. For more information on insert statements, see page 43 to 48 in the MTA 98361 Objective 6 Study Guide, Understanding Databases. Time to do our inserts. Log into your Azure account at portal.azure.com. Open the MTA 98361 OBJ6 database. Open the copy and paste insert scripts document next to your Azure portal window. After opening your database, open the query editor and log in. Copy the customer's insert script and paste it into the query window. Run the query. Type select all from customers in the query editor. Select the statement and run it. All the inserted rows will show in the results pane. Copy the insert category script and paste it in the query window. Also type select all from categories after your insert script. Run the query. Your inserted categories will now show in the results pane. Now copy the insert product script and paste it in the query editor. Type select all from products after the script and run the query. You can now view your inserted products in the results pane. Copy the insert order script and paste it in the query window. Run the query. 
Your inserted orders will show in the results pane. Copy the order details insert script and paste it in the query editor. Run the query. Add the select all from order details script. Select the statement, run the query and view the results. Let's check all our inserts again. Copy the select statements from your document and paste it in the query editor. Run the statements one by one to view the results. Customers checked. And categories checked. Orders inserts Products checked And order details checked And that's a wrap Thank you for doing your data inserts with me Coming up next Updates deletes and select queries. Here are some important links. I will also add them to the video description for copy and paste purposes. The discounted link to the Understanding Databases Study Guide on Dida2, Azure Free Subscription Link, Creating a SQL Database on Azure Video Link, how to create tables for a SQL database on Azure video link, copy and paste table creation and insert script document link.